Hey guys, PC Outcast here with a quick thoughts video on Tactical Combat Department, which is a turn-based SWAT game. Uh, it came into early access October 14th, 2021, and it's actually got a couple of updates already since then. The uh, developer, Lucas H, is actively implementing suggestions from players, which is great to see. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where this game goes, how it's developed towards full release. I'll, I'll just uh, take you through a quick little look-see at all the features and things. So you got your uh, five team members here. They've got various stats and abilities. They've got uh, all what they've accomplished as far as arrests, uh, shots fired and so forth, whether they've been injured or anything like that. Actually, it's not doesn't show their injury stats, but whether they've injured anybody. Uh, you've got various weapons you can use. Silenced one. You got uh, different uh, grades, I guess, of body armor. You got light, medium, heavy, and so forth. The uh, heavier ones have more, obviously, more armor, but they also reduce your movement points per turn. Uh, you've got some grenades, uh, basically just flashbangs. We're not trying to kill anybody here, if at all possible. You can also change the names of everybody and so forth. So then you start, you know, on your first mission here. It's a small house. Now, I noticed that um, the early missions, obviously, are a lot easier. But as you go further on, it, they get more open. And obviously enemies get... We're going to skip the tutorial. Um, enemies get a little bit tougher and you have less cover. Unfortunately, the cover system isn't really fantastic in the game. You can basically use walls, but you can't look around walls with, um, with your camera. You have cameras on your weapons. Uh, you can look under doors, but not around, uh, around walls. So I hope that'll be implemented at some point. Um, you can tell, usually, he's not here right now, and the first time that I played this, there was a, a civilian out here. They have white t-shirts, whereas uh, the bad guys have, like, black t-shirts and brown t-shirts and things like that. And, um, anyway, so you, obviously, move, like so. You can use this. You can't use, as far as I can tell, you can't really use low things as cover. Like, you can't um, crouch down, which is a bit of an unfortunate thing. Just move through. I want to show you a few more of the things that you can do. So now you can hear all the enemies walking around. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> and there you go. All right, let's move up here. Can I actually get a look-see? Okay, so here we've got um, camera. Uh, one thing that I that I suggest, suggested and hope to see implemented is tooltips for each of these. So the, you know, it just so, should say camera pop up here. Uh, this is to, I think, try the door. This is kicking the door. You can blow the door up. And you can lockpick it so we can look under and see what we can see. That looks like a civilian. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough movement points for these sorts of things. I want to send a couple around the corner. See what happens there. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Um, later on, the as I was saying, the, the uh, maps get more open and larger. And um, one thing I noticed that was a little bit of a problem is an enemy shot and killed one of my guys from the other side of the map with a pistol, and I could not hit him in two turns with a s trained sniper. Yeah, so that they might need some, some work on that. Oh, can we switch to... Yeah, just, just open that door. Perfect. And uh, yell at him. Put your hands up. I said, put your put hands, your up, hands up, up, son. There you go. Now, uh, camera movement is not too bad. It's a, a, could be a little bit smoother, but uh, it's not too bad. 
Will I still be able to? No, I will not. Okay, let's use somebody else. You. Come on, arrest. There you go. One guy down. That, that's pretty much the game. You, you uh, continue, you know, searching through locations. You can go around here. There might be a guy on the other side. Who knows? Go down here and see if there's anything down there. Don't see anything. You you can only see what you can see, which is very nice and realistic. He can see forward. It's all nice and bright, but behind him and behind these guys, it's grayed out. So you got kind of the fog of war thing, thing going on. And then here, of course, you have no knowledge of what's going on here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool features. Um, it will be interesting to see how it develops, what new features uh, develop, if there's any new um, work on AI and things like that. And uh, yeah. So, so far, so good. I think it's a very promising SWAT game. So if you'd like to check it out, it's available on Steam. Um, I don't know if it's on any others. I got it on Steam. And another shout out to Render System for providing a key for me to check this out. And, and I think right now it's on sale. It's around about 10, 10 or 12 bucks. So go have a look, see. And even if you're not like super interested in it, in buying it like right away, put it on your wish list because that will help to promote the game on Steam and it'll get more notice and it'll get more sales and development will most likely continue at a quicker pace. All right, guys, that is it for Tactical Combat Department.